Hey, there's a typo on this one. What are you doing, Ted? Now I need to do it all over again. Have fun. All right, I got it. Kaka! What the? Hmm. What are you up to, Bear? Just admiring your work. Admire it tomorrow morning. I'm busy. Hey, there's a typo on this one. What are you doing, Ted? Now I need to do it all over again. Have fun. Hey, there's a typo on this one. What are you doing, Ted? Now I need to do it all over again. Have fun. Hey, there's a typo on this one. What are you doing, Ted? Now I need to do it all over again. Have fun. Hey, there's a typo on this one. What are you doing, Ted? Now I need to do it all over again. Have fun. Uh, I don't have time for your shenanigans, Bear. Point taken. It was a fingerprint scanner after all. The safe opened up. Have a look, will you? I'll take it with me. According to the blueprint, Robbie needs this.
Here's your, I'm guessing, eyeballs. Nice, it fits. Whatever it is. Don't worry about it. Okay, this is probably the most important one. How do you figure? It's for his memory. There, that's all of him. Can you fix the guy? You're still missing something, cowboys. But it might be a little harder to get. What? A ratchet relay. Can't you just fix him without it? I just need him to talk, not dance around. It's, are you serious? Hmm. Oh. No. No, of course not. Where can we find one? It's your guess as well as mine, kid. There's a shortage on the market. However... However... There might be some available on the other market. If you catch my drift. Ah, that's great. Prepare to hang around some really creepy people, kid. Why are we going to your bird watching club? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Very funny. No, we're going to the Jungle Jazz Bar. I mean, of course it's a bar. See you in a little while, doll. Bye, Miss Fixie. Bye, handsome. in the sea. I hoped they didn't mean you to. <laughs> that keeps getting funnier every time, Snoop. Hey, comedy comes in threes. Then, then you should have stopped saying that 40 attempts ago! This is nice, right? The four of us, back together again. I've literally never seen this kid in my life. This? This is Gus Awesome, England's best spy in the world. Sure, why not? We need some information. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Listen, we're in a good mood. So, to keep it that way, I think it's best for you two to scram! Yeah, <laughs> Show. Good one, Bear. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Thought so. Wise guys. What's this, Bear? This? Oh, it's nothing. Just something that may or may not incriminate you in regards to the recent series of robot kidnappings. I bet there's a matching coupon in your coat. For a nice, cold Southside fizz. It expires today, right? Okay, what do you two want? A little birdie told us you might know someone. Keep your bird watching nonsense to yourself, Bear. That's not even. Okay, enough with the wisecracking. We're looking for a ratchet relay. What he said. Yeah? Join the club, Gus. There's a shortage these days. I mean, a luminarium might have some still. Oh, yeah. Go ask Skinner. I'm sure he's in a charitable mood, given the season. Yeah. <laughs> charitable. <laughs> right. A luminarium? I should have thought of that. Yeah, you should have. Man, Betty must have messed you up something fierce. Okay, we're done here. Just when it was about to get all personal. We'll catch you two idiots later. Ooh, foreshadowing! Hey, give our regards to the missus. Uh. Boy, everyone's really letting you have it with the whole Betty thing. What happened there? I'm not getting into this right now. Fine. What's a luminarium? Paper City's industrial light manufacturer. Well, they ought to have some relays. My thought exactly. But their CEO is a tough nut kid. Just let me do all the talking. You've literally been doing all the talking this whole time. Okay, good. So you're familiar with the concept. Let's go.
Let's see if it talks. Howdy, yo! It's me, Booby! I'm Booby. What's your name? If you're ever afraid of the dark, just light me up! Skinner is a tyrannical overlord with complete disregard for any form of life. He uses everyone as pawns for his financial gain. Wait, what? I'm shiny! Ha <laughs> ha! Skinner, I presume. Ah, it's the lawman. Gentlemen, keep it short. I'm somewhat in a hurry. Leaving the country? There it is, Ted's famous wit. Even though we've never had the pleasure, Ted, I'm afraid your infamy precedes you. You and me both, pal. Let's get right to the brass tacks. We need a ratchet relay, and it seems there's a shortage these days. You're well informed, Ted. You seem to be doing just fine in that department. How come? Now, 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 gentlemen. I wouldn't be much of a CEO if I was just to give away company secrets. Your company secrets are what we call reasonable suspicion. And what am I being suspect of? Running a successful business in the post-war depression? How about robot kidnappings? Heard about that? Ah, yes. Nasty business. However, as I already told the real police, I don't know anything about that. Hear that, kid? The real police. How could you tell? Did they have mustard stains on their badges? Gentlemen, I'm afraid this is all the time I could spare. Just as an expression of goodwill, I'll tell you this. We get the relays from our reserves. Reserves? We buy them in bulks, so there's some left still. But hopefully this shortage won't last past this winter. Hmm. Sure. Gentlemen, now, if you'll excuse me. You're excused, Smiley. Could we bother you for one such relay? I'm afraid that's out of the question. There's a shortage, after all. Of course. Well, we had to try. Okay, so now what? Hmm. He's acting off. Right. Like he can't spare one relay? That is strange. Also... There was an interesting piece of paper on his desk. What kind of paper? I'm not sure yet. Let's go back to the Union. I need to speak to that copper crone again. Just the booze hound I wanted to see. Any news? They say that hyperinflation is inevitable. Apparently, it's common in post-war economy. About the case? Any news about the case? Oh, right. We found Robbie. Robertson? Holy motherboard! Is he okay? Yeah. No, I mean no. He's pretty dismantled right now. But how? It's fine. We can fix him. We're missing a single component, though. What? What is it? Kid. A ratchet relay. Oh, but there's a shortage these days. You think? Anyways... We found someone who might have some still, but he wasn't really cooperative. Skinner? Oh, so you know Smiley. That heartless scumbag. He wouldn't spare a light bulb to save his own son. Ugh. We're kind of stuck here. If we get the thing, the hatchet. Ratchet relay. Relay. Thanks, kid. We can get valuable information. We could close the case. Well, what are you waiting for? Go get it. Um, that might require some breaking in. I seriously don't care. Just get the relay. Ted. Okay, okay. No need to blow a fuse. Get the thing. Solve the case. Bye, Miss Lift. Get out. Sheesh. See what I mean? Let's go, kid. There's a bar downtown we have to visit first. Of course there is. What'll it be, boys? The usual, Jay. I'll have the same. No, he won't. Give him a lemonade. Hey, coming right up. Oof. Tough night. Ah, kid. Okay, I gotta ask now. What's the deal with, um, Betty? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, fine. All right, there's this young actress, Betty. She and I. 
We were an item. So what happened? Something idiots like me tend to do, kid. I messed up. Can't you, like, apologize? <laughs> Not this time. You'll get it when you're a bit older. You care for her? I did. But that's all over with. Is it? You're having a hard time with this case. You seem absent-minded. Yeah. Well, so do you. And since we're sharing, mind telling me what the hell is going on now? Where's the little lassie bear? I haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, kid. Where is your sister? She's fine. Well, you see, you keep saying that. She had to go to the hospital, right? There. Can we drop it now? What? Why? What's wrong? She secretly ate one of the cookies from my batch. And my mom and dad had to take her to the hospital. What the hell? You could have told me that. Uh, I'm so sorry. I mean, it's fine. Is she... It's not fine, Ted. She's... She's really sick, and it's all my fault. Kid, she had an allergic reaction. It's not your fault. But it is okay. We got into a fight before bedtime about the cookies, and I dared her to eat one. Hey, now, come on. Kids, you know, they do stupid things like this all the time. Right, Jay? Also, some adults I know. <laughs> okay, you're making this worse. The point is, everyone makes their own choices. And sure, sometimes there might be a nudge from someone else. But in the end, it all comes down to what you'll decide. No one can do that for you. It was so scary, Bear. She couldn't breathe, and then I just stood there. I didn't know what to do. Don't worry, kid. Amber's tough. She'll be fine. She went through this once before, remember? I get it now. You're waiting for them to come back. That's why you're here. I... I didn't know what to do, so... I thought I'd help her out with the case while I wait, you know? I thought... It was something to do, right? I can't stand the waiting. I get it. But don't be so hard on yourself. The fact that you're bothered so much by it really shows that you genuinely care for your sister. Right, Jay? So you messed up. It happens. Just ask this guy over there. I mean... But you seem like a good kid to me. None of us are perfect, laddie. We all make mistakes. Or, in other words, we make our own choices. And choices have consequences. Where a man truly shows who he is, is how he deals with the choices he's made. Good or bad. That's right. Like right now, you have a choice. You can stay here and hang around with this big-headed oaf. Or, you can make the right choice and come help me break into the factory. That doesn't seem like the right choice at all. I guess it doesn't. But hey, it's something to do. Right. Thanks, Bear. Thanks for what? For giving me something to do. Don't mention it, champ. Now, let's go and steal that relay thing. We have a long night ahead. You and I. Uh, should I put this on No time to there? talk, Jay. The kid and I have a case to solve. Just go. Go, kid, go. Kid, here we are. Here we are. So, once we get you over that fence and into that factory... What? Are you insane? These are the latest Cyberus V8 Robodogs. I'm not going anywhere near them. Don't forget the searchlight. Sure, and the searchlight. It'll be like a candlelight dinner to them. Okay, fine. Maybe not the best idea. I mean, it's just negligence at this point, Ted. All right, fine. Don't worry. We'll figure something out. Hey, what about that car over there? What about it? I'm going to ram it into that fence. I mean, sure, that's as sound as it gets with you. We need the keys, though. There's a guardhouse. They could be in there. Worth a look, at least. Let's go. All right, this should keep them busy for a while. Is 
That's right. It's my toy now. Maybe don't rub it in their faces. Whoa. What is this? The dog factory? Can't help but notice the lack of fences here. Yeah. Just keep your voice down, and don't provoke him. Good doggy. There's the key, kid. Right behind that guy. Go fetch! Oh no, where'd that car come from? It was a murdering death robot, kid. Let's not lament too long. I got them, Ted. I have eyes, kid. Keep it down. Oops. Let me get that real quick and... Dad, why is your life so farcical? I wish I knew, kid. It's as if a clown has put a curse on me. Great. So now what? Okay. So, once you get over that fence and into that factory... Forget it, Bear. I'm not climbing that fence. Well, I guess there's only one thing left. Is it me climbing the fence? Yeah. No. I mean, no. Okay. We can go and ask Fixie for help. She can help us. Okay. My vote's on Fixie. Sure. Let's head back. But you deal with her this time. Ma'am, we need your help. Hmm, let me guess. You tried to steal some poor guy's car keys, but then Ted dropped them, and then some wild animal probably took them and ran off. Okay, wow. That's... that's exactly what happened. It was a seagull, and he flew away. Whatever, Bozo. Here's a screwdriver. You can use this. Thanks, ma'am. Make sure you bring it back. I'm not running a screwdriver charity here. Well, let's hope this works. Oh my god, are you okay? <coughs> sure, sure. I'm... I'm fine. <coughs> are you though? Yeah, yeah, you? I'm okay. Well, you failed miserably, but somehow it worked out even better. What do you... Look, you even decommissioned the dogs. What? What dogs? Let's go, kid. You sure you're okay? Hello? Hello? That's weird. What is? Let's see if we can fire this thing up. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's get to work.
done, Ted. Nicely done. This box. It's full of relays. But there's supposed to be a shortage. It doesn't matter. Get one that'll fit in Robbie and let's go. This one, Ted. It's his. Sure. That one. Will it fit? No, you don't get it. It's Robbie's relay. See? The cereal's the same. What? What the hell? How's that? Is... Is Skinner using robot relays to produce his headlights? It appears so. Holy Christ. This is huge, kid. But we can't jump to any conclusions just yet. The evidence is all here, Ted. Not all of it. I need to get into his office somehow. I saw something earlier that piqued my interest. What's your plan? Hmm. I'm not sure yet. But it's going to be reckless. I'll definitely keep this. Now that's an idea. Good thinking, champ. I think we're on the same page here. Bon voyage, bear. Just be careful, you know.